So next we're going to try a different way to change an object's color. Let's say we want to change just her dress. So we're going to use our selection tools to be able to make a selection of her dress. So let's just take the magnetic lasso tool and go ahead and see what we can get here. That's doing a pretty good job at making the selection. As we've studied in a couple past previous lessons, there's so many different ways to cut objects out. Sometimes some work better than others. Uh, some of the newer tools, I'm trying to use those a little less, so just in case you have an older version of software, you kind of have something to go with. And this is where the pen tool might be helpful in helping us fine tune our selection. So we have our selection here, and this is also going to help us practice selecting. We're going to zoom in and do some fine tune work and make sure everything is selected how we want. So we still have the magnetic lasso tool selected, and notice when I hold down shift, I'm adding to a selection. So I'm going to hold down shift and I'm just clicking to add a selection. Just going around and adding anything I missed or anything that the magnetic tool missed. And sometimes the mag, this is really high contrast, so it's very easy to do. Let's say it's just not selecting a particular area. I can even just get the polygon lasso tool and add, add a selection that way, kind of manually. So you have all these tools you can add to the selection. And you can even use the pen tool to help you. So right here in this little area, let's get the pen tool out. And let's draw, kind of include all of this, this kind of round area. Just like that. We just want to kind of add that to the selection. I'm going to right click, make a selection. I'm going to click instead of new selection. If I were to select new selection, it would deselect everything here. So you're going to add to the current selection that we already have, and it, and it integrates right in there. So let's say we want to subtract. So let's go like this. We're going to subtract that little area right there. So I'm going to right click, and I am going to make a selection. But this time, I'm going to subtract from the selection. So now I'm subtracting. So this is a little bit, it takes some time to get to know and to get used to, and you have lots of projects and practice time to be able to do that. That's why I love the pen tool because I get lots of control over curves. I'm going to be adding to this selection. So make a selection, add to it just like that, and then you can subtract. And sometimes I like to switch between tools. So now I have the magnetic or let's do the polygon lasso tool. I'm going to go up here to subtract and I'm going to subtract that selection. So it, it takes some practice. Rewatch this video lots of times. That's going to help you. See, that has a curve in it, so let me do my pen tool. I'm just taking that skin, and you can always click on your pen tool. You have a lot of different options for adding your anchor points and changing your anchor points. And once again, we're really going to cover this quite a bit in um, Adobe Illustrator and subtract. So we want to subtract that out. We don't want to select the skin. And voila. So pretty decent selection here. You just have to go in and really make sure your selection is good. And it looks like around the bottom there, you can either use them quickly, use the, uh, we can also use the quick selection tool. You have lots of tools in your tool belt. We want to do the add addition, not subtraction. So we're just going to go see if we can't smooth around the bottom. And smooth selection. Looks like I might need to use the pen tool for that one to get a nice smooth curve. But that is no problem. I'm just making a selection. Right click. Now, the, the biggest thing about this is just remembering am I subtracting or am I adding? And sometimes it's kind of hard to remember. So I'm definitely subtracting from that selection. And there we go. We can always fine-tune all this stuff very quickly and there we go we have our dress perfectly isolated and now we're ready to change color so we have our dress selected so the tempting thing to do is to go up to adjustments and do all sorts of things to color balance to change the shade of her dress but the only problem with this is when you click away and you start doing other things and you want to change her dress color again you're kind of stuck with what you have. 
you're kind of destroying the original photo. What we want to do is we want to keep the original photo intact just in case we ever want to change the, the dress again. So this is called non-destructive editing and we're going to do that uh, further in the course in the next couple lessons. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and there's a couple ways we can do this. We can duplicate our layer. So we're just going to right click our layer and duplicate it. And then what we're going to do, we still have our original dress selection. We're going to add a layering mask and we're going to cover layering masks in more detail later. So this little icon right here with the circle in it, we're going to add a layering mask. What that's going to do, it's going to add this layer on top of this copy. So if I were to reduce the original layer, all you have left is a dress, which is what you want. You know, we want to keep the original photo. So now we can change this layer all we want without any repercussions because we can always toggle off the layer and have our original dress back. So let's change the color. So one thing we could do is we can strip all the color away very quickly by just doing a quick adjustments desaturate. So now she has a white dress. So now we're kind of starting from scratch. So let's go ahead and do, we could do a selective color. And now that it's all white, it'll be very easy when we select the whites or maybe even the neutral. So let's see what white does. So I'm definitely able to add a little bit of color hue there. Let's try our neutrals. We're able to kind of make it blue by changing, this is just one method. There's many methods to do this. Like with anything in Photoshop, so we're adding kind of some deep color. So now we made her dress quite white. Color balance is another way we can tweak colors. So we can make it a blue dress. And I'm just kind of toggling between mid-tone shadows and highlights. That seems to be the most effective at this point. And so at any time we can toggle off this layer and voila, we have our pink dress back and we have our blue dress back. And we can even duplicate this layer. So just go duplicate it. And we can, um, have different colors. So we could toggle that off and then we can have different colors that we can toggle between. So with this one, let's say, let's go to hue and saturation. And after time, you'll learn which one to go to and which one has the most effectiveness. So now we have all these different layers. We can toggle that one off. We can toggle that one. So we can have a blue dress. We can have a purple dress. You'll notice when you go on online websites, when you're going e-commerce and you're buying a t-shirt or you're buying yoga pants and you're able to change the color, this is exactly how Photoshop artists and graphic designers create these uh, different colors. Is they'll create a file and they'll have different layers where they can switch it out and export all the layers so they'll be able to have and show different options. This is exactly how they do it. And that is how you change a dress color. We can even do the same with her hair. We could do it with anything we want to.